the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we're going to help this noob reach second C and awaken the dark fruit. So I've seen those comments. Don't worry guys, I'm always reading comments and listening to your requests. So here we go, we're gonna do the dark fruit. So as you can see, we already have our first skill, the dark rocks. So are you ready to grind? So before we start, I create the Twitter account for future giveaways and announcements. Make sure to follow. You can also show your support by using Starco Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Okay guys, so at level 1, we're gonna start grinding with the bandits. So as usual guys, you need to lure enemies, you need to defeat 5. But guys, as we all know, Dark Fruit is a Loga type fruit which means grinding will be a lot easier. So lure 5, use your Z skill. So the goal here is to reach level 13. Why 13 game when I'm usually level 10, right? That is true because that is the minimum requirement to start a quest in the next island, the jungle. But as you can see, I am enjoying now the Loga effect. So we're gonna grind here until level 13. Okay. So once you reach level 13, we are going to our next island, the jungle. So here we're gonna start with the monkeys again. The level requirement here is level 10. Just a reminder, at this level, Logia is not yet in effect, so you're gonna get damaged. But guys, for those who don't know, you can lure them go in the water and there is no damage. Eh di natuto kayo ngayon, guys, di ba? Okay, so, after you defeat the monkeys, you need to defeat 6, right? To finish a quest. So when you reach level 15, you can now start grinding with the gorillas. But as you can see, my level is already 18 because it's really easy grinding in these early stages of our grinding journey. So here we go, lure 4 gorillas. Logia is not yet in effect, so high ground is our friend. Defeat them, finish a quest, reach level 20, and when you reach that, Gorilla King quest. So guys, again, high ground. This Gorilla King cannot defeat you, see that's very easy. And now that you know all the guides strategies in this island, the goal here is to reach level 30. Okay. Depends you if you want to go back with the gorillas or wait for it to spawn. Stat check, 12 melee defense, blast fruit 72. So off to our next island, the pirate village. Here it is. So we're going to start with the pirates. Guys, you need to defeat 4 at a time because you can only lure 4 here at a time. There you go. High ground again. Use your Z skill to defeat them. Easy, right? Logia effect is activated at level 35. The goal here is to reach level 40. Go once you reach this, you are now ready to move on to your next quest, the brutes. As you can stay here with the pirates until you unlock the log effect here, but if you want, you can go straight here at level 40. So again, lure five at a time. Go defeat them using your Z skill. So, guys, uh, just a reminder: do not attack them when they're near. Always dodge attack, okay? Okay. So at 55, you will unlock the Bobby quest. Buggy, the clown, in one piece. There you go. Just dodge that. Everything will be easy. Check it out, guys. Black Spiral already unlock. Second skill at Mastery 40. There you go. Boom. But I really don't suggest using it unless you're gonna use it to last hit an enemy because, again, it will knock your enemy away. So once you reach level 60, Stat check before we go to our next island. Melee 30, defense 30, 123, blast fruit. So here guys in the desert, we're gonna start with the desert bandits. It's very easy why logia effect. Same level with the mobs, level 60, so mm, mm, no guides here, just lure attack, okay? <laughs> so at level 75, same guys, desert officers, logia is already in effect. So again, just hit them, lure them, attack them, boom, very easy. The goal here is to reach 105. Why 105 game or no? Guys, log effect. Take advantage, okay? So next stop. Frozen village at level 105. Buy everything with the ability feature and start grinding with the Yeti. Same strategy with the other bosses. Maintain your own distance. If you can create your own high ground, yes, you can. You can push him or it away. See that? And defeat him. Okay? So there you go. 
Don't forget there's no bandits at this level, low gaze in effect, very easy to defeat. Guys, no bandits, Yeti, the goal here is to reach level 130. And once you reach that level, stat checked, 69 nil defense, 252 blocks fruit, moving on. Next island, the Marine Forest. So here guys, we're gonna start and end with the Vice Admiral. So again, you just need to dodge the first skill or the skill, the long range attack of this enemy, that one. And check it out, we've already unlocked our third skill, the Black Hole at Mastery 80. Guys, this enemy is very easy to defeat. Strategy you use with the Bobby the Clown, that's it. Buggy the Clown, remember, Pirate Village. So guys, we're gonna level up here until you reach level 225. Yes, you're just gonna server hop, okay? That is a lot easier. Why? Guys, the experience that you will get on the next island is the same. Yes, I'm talking about the Dark Masters, the mobs at level 175. So again, guys, just a reminder, you're gonna grind here until you reach level 225, okay? So before we move on to the Coliseum, stat check first. 100 melee and defense, blocks fruits 472. For our next training area, the Coliseum, we're gonna start here with the Toga Warriors. As you can see, we already unlocked the Dark Bomb. Toga Warriors, you need to defeat 7, so let's lure 4. And three or four twice that's the same guys we won't be using the dark bomb yet because the enemies will go flying around so we're just gonna focus on grinding here until we reach level 275 after that gladiators you're gonna grind here until you reach level 300 but guys wait first let's lure this there you go four very easy to defeat guys they're just kind of far away but you have a choice at 250, let's defeat this first, guys. Okay, at 250, you can go in the prison and defeat the swan and his friends. <laughs> swan and friends. So, here you go, he's the dark bomb, energy ball. There you go. You're gonna defeat him, right? He will level up. You can also defeat the warden and the chief warden here. But, guys, I suggest just go back in the Coliseum to defeat the gladiators. That's more efficient. Just for me, guys. So, when you reach level 300, Oh, that's the chief warden. You can go to the magma village. Guys, here we're just gonna grind with the military soldiers, okay? I'm having a hard time with the spies, so lure 5 near the bridge or at the bridge to prevent them from spawning back to their spawn places. There you go. And to make things faster, you can start defeating this boss, the magma admiral. Tips, maintain distance and dodge this skill and everything will be fine. Goal here is to reach level 375. When reach that level, stat check before we move on to our next island. 170 mil defense, 788 blocks fruit. Moving on, our next island, the underwater city. We go. We're gonna start and end here with the fishman warriors, meaning we're gonna reach 450 with this mob. We go lure four. The time, guys, just release your skills fast because you will really get damage with these mobs. So we're just gonna grind here, gamer. Now, no, we can again defeat the mini boss in this island. And that mini boss is Fishman Lord. You can start defeating him at 425. Some tips, just dodge this skill. That one, the trident. That one. <laughs> Once you dodge that, everything will be fine. Use his skill, dodge, use his skill, dodge. So at 450, stat check, 180 melee and defense, block fruits 993. Next up, Skylands. So on the Skylands, you are gonna go one step higher. Not the, uh, not the what do you call this? Uh, upper yard but just here with the god's guards you just need to lure four at a time guys it's okay to use all your skills here why because uh, this mobs can jump and won't get stuck so don't worry just use your skills grind here this is my favorite grinding area that's why we're gonna grind here until you reach level 425 we're gonna skip the shandas and the mini boss the whisper why because i like it that way guys <laughs> It's very fast grinding here and they're so easy to defeat. Okay? So 525. Next up, let's move on to the upper yard. Boom. There we go. We're gonna start with the royal squads. So here royal squads, just lure four. You can lure five if you want, guys. They're easy to defeat. We're gonna stay here until we unlock our third quest with the quest giver here. Wait, let's defeat this first. Yes, goal is 575. And once you reach that next target, 
the Thunder God Ineru. This is Blackbeard versus Ineru. No. Who do you think will win, guys? I hope they fight in one piece. Well, anyway, just dodge again this skill and use your skills. And that's it. So, my strategy here is just do server hop. So, if you're lucky, you will get the pole, which is really good, or you will level up faster. That's it. All win. So, again, gold here is 625. But if you want, you can go back with the Royal Guards or Royal Squad. Yeah, Royal Squad. So once you reach level 625, and we're not that lucky, we didn't get the pole. Stats, 250 melee defense, 1,375 blocks fruits. So last island, Fountain City. Two mobs here. Galley Pirates, you need to defeat 8 right, lower 4. Okay, defeat them easily. Go to 3 and 4, defeat them, and when you reach level 675, you can start defeating the Cyborg, the mini boss in this island. So easy, hard to defeat. Actually, no, guys, you just need to dodge the cannons. The, yeah, that one, and everything will be easy. Maintain your distance, use your skills. Gold here is to reach level 700, and once you reach that, you will get a quest. It will ask you to go in the prison, he, the detective will give you a key, you will go to the frozen village, use the key to open the door there, defeat the ice admiral. Guys, this is the quest to go to the second sea, okay? Once you defeat him, go back to the prison, detective, he will then ask you to go to the middle town, talk to the experienced pirate, and that's it. We've now reached the second sea, and is that it, gamer gnome? No! If you check the title, we're gonna awaken this, don't worry. This is all possible because of the update. Remember your candies. You can use your candies to trade for the shards. So we're gonna awaken them all. Don't worry. This is just uh, fast forwarded. So gamer, you're just 700. How did you do that, guys? I asked help from my brothers again because it will be really. It's impossible actually to start a raid at this level, right? Okay, so we need help. But first, let's trade our 2,720 candies for fragments. Fast forward, we got, I think, seven, oh no, 19,200, okay? So fast forward, here we go. Let's load it, awakening it. So guys, this is just fast forwarded. I'm just gonna show you how much you'll spend to unlock all the skills. So for the first skill, the awakened Z skill, the Dark Rocks, I think 500. Yeah, 500 fragments is needed. Yeah, 500, there you go. So let's check it out. Again, this is the unawakened form, Dark Rocks. And once you awaken it, Dimensional Slash. There you go. I see we cannot gauge the damage because the mobs here is too strong for our account. See that? We look cool. Next skill, we got the F skill. This is a new skill, right? Yeah, for 2000 fragments. There you go. It's like uh, Soru. Yes. One more time. Actually, two more times. There you go. It is called the Ghostly Step. Boom. Okay. So for the X skill, how much does it cost? I think it's 3,000. Yes. So this is the Awakened Form, the Black Spiral. For the Awakened Form, we got the Abyssal Darkness. So this skill will pull your enemies towards you. So always think of it if you're going to use that. There you go. One more time. Check it out. Okay. For our Z skill, there you go, 4000. The endless hole, guys, I won't compare it. It looks the same. Even the damage, so I really don't know. <laughs> okay, so for the last skill, V skill at 5000 fragments, we got. This is the old one, the Dark Bomb. There you go. And for the, our new skill, the World of Darkness. So I think it really looks better. Most likely the damage is higher and that's it for this video. So guys, what's your request? For the winner of the giveaway, I'll be showing it on my next video. Yes, tomorrow maybe. Again, I hope that you like this video. For more requests, just comment it in the comment section. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom and GamerNom out.